Hello, and welcome to a little bit of cartoon zombie advice on how to get rich on Hobo Tough Life. To save anyone having to spend a fucking hour watching this, I've sped up lots of the video. But my method of getting money is a pretty damn obvious one. Make a note on how much money I start with. And I'm going to stand right here at the train station. And I'm going to beg people for a whole day. And it is as easy as that. When you get success checks like this, you get a higher chance of being successful when you beg, steal and trade. That's literally the formula. Start with the top conversation, get some success rolling, and then click on the beg tabs. And it's just a rinse repeat process. A lot of these people won't want to talk to you. You can combat that by having higher charisma on the clothes you're wearing and stats and perks and shit. Not too important though. I've got an advantage because my guy's like 20 something days old on this so I've already leveled these skills a bit. And right there I managed to get coins and food off a guy so I won't need to stop to buy food. So throwing in the odd pickpocket is obviously handy. These guys who are tough to talk with and you have less chance of swindling or fleecing them, you still get skill. Right there. You st er everything is still a game, even if they give you nothing. You still level up all these skills, which is fucking great. If you make a new character, I highly recommend getting your stats really high early in the morning and just doing this for a whole day and just leveling up your speech and your begging. I've watched other YouTubers who have money making guides and stuff that just seem to take a long time. Uh, a guy, his video, he ran around doing a few quests and he spent nearly the whole day just running back and forward across the map and he only made like a couple hundred and that was a guide for money uh, I've already made like like 700 now fair enough this video is sped up but you can see the day clock in the top right a day cycle is about 30 minutes of real lifetime so I sped this up just so you guys aren't watching this for half an hour real lifetime because that's another thing I didn't like about online guides a bunch of them a bunch of the guide videos are like a half an hour to an hour long in my opinion tutorials you should try and just keep them for 10 minutes most people just want to quickly find out what's going on Right here, a police caught me stealing, so he's going to stare at me for like 15 minutes now. But I'll show you a little trick to deal with them. If you can open a dialogue with them, and then close it, they walk away. See that? Off he goes. Otherwise, they watch you for a long time. And if they catch you stealing a second time, they take you to prison through this little playthrough I did this method again I talked to a police who was staring at me because he saw me trying to pickpocket and he fucked off but then it actually happens a third time and uh, I got sloppy and he caught me and took me to prison which kills your morale but um, the money I'm making you can just buy magazines off the tobacconist and get your morale straight back to 100 so who even gives a shit? <laughs> Don't really care if I get caught stealing. 
this is obviously going to be a harder strategy if your character is brand new. However, I still strongly, strongly suggest you do this anyway to level it all up. Start working on these skills straight away. And this is why quicker you level up your speech and begging and stealing and trading the quicker you get to a point where you can just snowball it all together and just stand at the train station and fleece these idiots all day long bye cop <laughs> try and steal handy items every now and then when you can not just the stuff you can sell Try and get some food. Pretty sure I got a couple sandwiches in this little playthrough. And at this point, yeah, my guy was freezing, so I quickly burnt an umbrella. Someone gave me that umbrella. That was so weird. You equip the umbrella, and it acts as a, a hat slot. And it just has huge rain protection, which I don't really care about because one good thing about this spot is um, if you stand next to the wall there, you're actually protected from the rain. So this is where police caught me. Yeah. If you can get to a building in time, you can despawn him and he doesn't uh, take you to prison. Same with the thugs if they're trying to rob you. Yeah, I got a free ship on have been taken to jail, so the joke's on you. Unfortunately, they took my meth and my crowbar and some other drug I had. But, like I said earlier, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to be... <laughs> We're gonna be banking big bucks here, so straight back to the train station to fleece people all day. L literally the best way of making money that I've discovered so far. Another decent way of making money is to keep crafting the easy to make weapons. There's a, a couple of weapons you can make pretty much straight away for really cheap crafting materials. And uh, there's a guy near the spawn who buys weapons. So you can craft a load of them and just sell them to him for pretty good money actually. But not as good as this method. <laughs> Another okay money if you're, if you're on a fresh character is to go dumpster diving, save up building and crafting materials and take it to the guy called Monty who buys pretty much all the crafting shit in the game. A lot of people are going to want to hold on to those items though and hoard it so you can build your own little hobo base. Yep, this is just what I do. Every now and then. Make room to spend a whole day fleecing people. Try and start the day with all your stats really high. So you don't get interrupted. You don't want to have to keep running away to warm yourself up. You don't want to have to keep running away to take a dump, eat food and... You know, you don't want to have to run away and take a nap in the middle of this. Get your character nice and prepared early morning like I did. And you can spend the whole day uninterrupted, apart from when police catch you stealing. Luckily, this spot doesn't get uh, many visits from the thugs. It is possible though. But it is very, very unlikely. And if a thug did walk down here, just give him what he wants. If he wants money or a cigarette or whatever, just pay him off and then get straight back to stealing off people. If 
anyone else playing this game knows of a better method. If you can make quicker money, better money somewhere else, please share and I will test it out. But that just about wraps it up. That was a fast forwarded game that took about half an hour. And we made over three grand. If I remember correctly, I parked up here so you could have a quick look at my stats and see what day I'm on. But I haven't been spending every day doing this on this character. I only discovered this recently, actually. I did a little bit of begging when I first made him. And then at some point I just decided this is the best money maker. mastermind secret <laughs> on hobo tough life the best way I find to make money is to literally beg it off people and um, to be successful at it keep your speech skill get your speech skill up as quick and high as you can and everything else will just fall into place if you guys haven't tried this game yet I highly recommend it it's a lot of fun it's pretty fucking hard on your first couple of playthroughs when you go in blind and don't know what you're doing. But if you've got money, it's going to be nice and easy. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped. Bye.